Hi, this is Karthik. In this session, I am going to teach you introduction to networking. And let me see the objectives. So, introduction to networking. Under introduction to networking, we are going to see definition for networking, advantage of networking, and types of networking. Under this, we are going to see local area network, wide area network, and metropolitan area network. So, what is a network? A network is a set of devices connected by communication links. So what is a network? It's a set of devices. It may be a computer or it may be a printer or whatever it may be. So they are connected by means of uh, communication links such as cable or radio waves or OFC that is optic fiber communication whatever it may be. A computer network or data network is a telecommunication network that allows computer to exchange information. So what is the main core of networking? So computers can communicate or exchange the information between each other. In computer networks, network computing devices, that is network node, passes data to each other along the data communication or data connection. So whenever you want to forward an information from one node to another or from one system to another system. So the data can be passed through the intermediate nodes or we can call it as network nodes which forward the message to the destination node. Uh, a computer network is simply two or more computers connected together so they can exchange information. So when two or more computers are connected together so that they can able to exchange information between them. A computer network can be identified as a group of computers. So what is a computer network? It's a group of computers that are interconnected, interlinked between each other. For what? For sharing data between them or their uses. So we are going to connect computers together for sharing data between the systems or between the users. The computer on a network may link through a cable, telephone line, radio waves, satellites or infrared light beams. So the medium of communication or the medium of link between two or more systems can be established through cables or you can use telephone lines and radio waves, satellites or infrared light beams. So where you can able to see an uh, example for networking where all the networking devices such as PC, uh, notebook and remote desktop databases are connected to each other. So what is the advantage of computer network? So it's very easy to communicate and speed is very good and able to share files, data and information. We can able to sh share hardware and sharing software. So next we will see the components of network. So whenever a system wants to communicate between uh, sender to receiver, if sender is forwarding an information, this information is break down into zeros and ones, we used to call as binary information. That binary information is packed as messages and sent through the communication medium such as telephone lines or radio links or wireless communication to receiver. So here someone wants to carry this information from sender to receiver. So the name is called as protocol. So what is a protocol? A protocol is a set of rules between the communication parties for the improvement of communication between sender and receiver. Or else in simple, a protocol is a set of rules to be followed by the communication parties. So how to classify a network? The types of networks are classified based on the size and the area it covers and its physical architect. So based on these parameters we can able to classify the network. So first one, the distance between the computer, let us say 1 meter to 10 meter, it may, it may be a room or less than and equal to 1 kilometer, it may be an obvious building and from 1 kilometer to 10 kilometer it may be a city 
and from 10 km to less than 100 km maybe a province so during that type we want to use man and if it is less than or equal to 100 km it's going to be state and less or less than or equal to 1000 km it should be a continent and for state and continent we are going to use wide area network and if it is greater than this it's a 10000 km it's going to be a intercontinental that is a planet and the type of network we want to use an in internet the same distance 10 meters classroom land 100 meters building land and 1000 meters campus land and 100 kilometers as a country van and 1000 kilometers a continent van and 10000 kilometers as a planet we want to use internet so the types of network the network can be basically classified into three types so local area network so metropolitan area network and wide area network so where you can able to see is a local area network is a metropolitan area network and it's a wide area network which spans the entire globe for communication so this is also an example for land which spans within the building and metropolitan area between the buildings and wide area network between the continents so it's a local area network where you can able to see a single building land where systems are connected to each other by means of a physical medium so a group of interconnected computers within a small area if you're going to connect computers within a room or building or campus we can call it as local area network the two or more PCs can form a LAN to share files folders printers application and other devices and we can use coaxial or cat5 cables or normally used for connections and due to shorter distance error and noise are minimum and data transfer rate is 10 to 100 mbps next comes local area network it's a distribution on their transmission media and topology so example a computer lab in a school and man is a metropolitan area network where it's uh, the area covered by man is more greater than land so designed to extend over a large area as I said in case of land it used to cover a small area but in case of metropolitan area network which used to span a large area a connecting number of lands to form a larger network so that the resources can be shared networks can be up to 5 to 50 kilometers and next comes your wide area network our country and worldwide network contain multiple lands and mans and distinguish in terms of geographical range so that's all about your wide area network and there are some other types of networks also what are they first we will see WLAN is a wireless LAN a wireless LAN can be used high frequency radio waves for communication the mode of communication it's not a mode of communication uh, the medium of communication between the devices is going to be wireless so it is called as a wireless LAN and next one is a personal area network PAN we used to say the network organized by the individual user for its personal use for example in your house you may use laptop which is connected to your printer via Wi-Fi through a router or you may use a Wi-Fi wi headphones so you are going to establish a personal network for your personal use the kind of network we used to say is a personal area network and SAN is a storage area network so what is the use connect servers to data storage devices via fiber optic cables so it's a storage area network so its main theme is to serve the storage or used to provide the connection between the servers example used for daily backup of organizational or minor copy and SAN where you can able to see so SAN where you can able to see a lot of servers are connected together and storage media can connected together so it is called as a storage area network okay that's all about today's session I think you may enjoy this video thanks for watching this video thank you